I'm about to graduate with a CS degree, and I have never used a library, framework, or an API, and I'm not really sure what they are. The number of CS grads who don't even know basic Git commands is truly astounding. I thought this was a pretty lukewarm take from me. I'll be honest. I, I could not fathom people being mad about this one. Let's see, ones if this is a lukewarm take at best, twos if you think this is spicy, three if you think I should be canceled for daring to say this. So ones if it's not that spicy, two if it is spicy, three if it's so spicy I should be canceled. Seen a lot of ones and some sarcastic threes. There's a reason for this though. We all program. My channel sucks to watch if you haven't coded for a while. In fact, my streams probably suck to watch even harder. And on top of all of that, the thought of somebody watching my content on my main channel without being a programmer for long enough to know Git is unbelievable. You might be thinking when you see this, man, it would be really stupid for colleges to teach Git though, because it's so easy to learn. I kind of agree. I didn't say anywhere here that students should be forced to learn Git as part of the curriculum and that there should be a class where they spend a whole semester teaching Git. I'm not saying that these things need to be taught, that there needs to be courses dedicated to it. I'm saying that if you've been coding for four years, you should probably know how the hell to use Git. The thought of somebody coding for years, for school, for personal work, for any reason, and not at least trying Git at some point throughout that is unfathomable to me. There is no world in which good engineers exist and code regularly and haven't at least stumbled into Git, much less used it heavily. I was personally using Git before I even learned how to code because I was using it to manage files for my servers when I was hosting Minecraft servers. That ended up being a superpower for me when I learned how to code because I never in my life had to worry about deleting code. To this day, I've had one single incident where I had deleted code that I hadn't committed and couldn't find afterwards. That has happened to me once in my entire 15 year career. But when I was in school and I was working with my friends and helping them with their homework and I would delete a bunch of contents of a file to start changing it, the look on their face of fear when I did that was, wait, you can't just delete my code. Wait, you didn't commit it yet? What's a commit? That's where things start to fall apart. And man, did I get railed for daring to say these things. I made some clarifying points here. CS degrees are absolutely for getting programming jobs, which by the way, if you don't realize this, please rethink your stance. It is... The only things you can do with CS degrees are get a job coding or research and education stuff. If a degree only exists for the sake of academia, it's not a real degree. It's perpetually self-fulfilling prophecy. If the only thing you could do with a degree is teach other people how to get that degree, that's bullshit. The point of CS is to make people more scientific with their knowledge of their computers. Right now, that usually means they're writing code. And usually that also means they're trying to get jobs coding. The vast, vast majority of people who are getting CS degrees, like 95%, their goal is to get a job writing code, period. And that's also how most universities market it. Is there a difference between computer science degrees and software engineering degrees? Probably, but every university has their own feelings. I went to an engineering school called RPI, and even though it was an engineering school with a great engineering department, they still chose to make computer science part of the science department, which meant unlike my engineering friends all building with circuits and shit, I got stuck taking bio because bio was a requirement for science majors, and I was technically a science major. That didn't mean I wasn't coding. My school, thankfully, had an awesome open source program that I was part of, which meant I had to use Git all the time because I loved open source and I loved that department. So I ended up being really good at Git. And also, I ended up teaching a lot of people how to use Git, and I saw terrible things. One student insisted that the only way they would ever use Git was through the UI. So what they would do is they would code a new algorithm in Python, put it in a file, append a random number to the end, and then drag and drop it onto their repo via the Git website for GitHub. That's not using Git. That is begrudgingly dragging your heels and preventing yourself from using Git. And that's in one of the few schools that actually gives you the opportunity to learn these things and get like credits for it. But man, they tried so goddamn hard to not do it. I also specified that learning Git should not necessarily be part of the curriculum. This is a take that I can understand pushback. Like if the degree is supposed to get you a job, it should teach you the things you need to get a job. Yeah, but you can also just have a class where all the assignments are submitted via Git. You have a custom Git server at your school and you tell the students, hey, this class uses Git. Here's a two page PDF on how to use Git. And if you're not using this, you're not gonna be able to submit your homework and you're gonna get an F. If you make it a prereq for getting things done, I'm cool with that. 
doesn't take that long to learn enough Git to be productive in a solo development school environment. And it's a skill that will benefit you greatly. I also call out that no dev should be hired without basic Git knowledge. I fully believe this at this point. I would cave for SVN if you came to me and said, hey, I just finished my university program. I have coded a whole bunch of cool things. My school still used SVN, which I know is out of date, but it's what I learned. I don't know Git yet, but I'm down to learn it quickly. Can I have a job? I would say, go learn Git, show me your GitHub, and then I'll hire you. But for other places, maybe that's fair. But the idea of version management not being a thing you vaguely understand by the end of your degree after spending four years writing software, that is actually fucking insane. Like, legitimately insane to me. This was so controversial that it front-paged on HN for the day, which I actually couldn't believe. But man, once you see the things people said, you're also not going to believe it because I, I cannot fathom that these people are actually that stupid. CS degrees aren't meant to teach any particular skill. They should be teaching general knowledge that helps you adapt to whatever the fad of the month is in the industry. Realistically, you can learn to use Git in less than one day. It just shouldn't be a significant barrier to hiring somebody. None of the specific languages or software I learned during my degree do I even use now in my current role. Cool. If somebody was trying to get a job working for me and they said, hey, I've been coding for many years. I don't really believe in IDEs. I haven't had a chance to learn them. I just use Notepad. That is the equivalent of not using source control. If you shut up and said, yeah, VS Code is cool and all fine, but I just, I already knew Sublime, so I'm still using that, fine. If you show up and say, hey, Git's not something I've had a chance to learn yet. My last job used SVN. I've been using that for a while. Cool, go learn Git quick. But if you come out not knowing any of the solutions, you're fucked. And if you come out not knowing Git, you're still probably fucked. Like the thing people see, because they see me saying Git, they're assuming what I mean is specific technologies like Git should be taught as part of the computer science. No, the idea of version control should 1000% be very, very familiar to you by the time you're trying to get a job. If you don't know how to manage the code that you're working with, you are not employable. You should be embarrassed. And that's why my tweets were as spicy as they were, because I want people who have degrees and don't know how to use Git yet to feel a little insecure and embarrassed. You should. It is unacceptable to write software for years and not know how version control works. And it is incredibly difficult to justify learning any version control other than Git right now. I am not saying that Git is perfect, that we should teach it in school, and that people who don't know Git, even if they're a good engineer otherwise, are bad engineers. I'm saying Git should be known by students by the time they graduate. People who don't know Git aren't good engineers because if they were good engineers, they would be forced to have learned Git at some point. And version control is an essential concept that isn't taught in most degree programs. That's what I'm saying. Let's be very explicitly clear here. Git is not just a fad. It's a literal underpinning of most serious software development these days. Most doesn't even do this justice. It's like 99%, especially if you need to work with others. That a CS grad doesn't even know basic Git commands is telling, not of their degree, but of the individual themselves, that they have no desire to learn beyond what's taught, and they couldn't even be bothered to look into the requirements of the industry that they want to work in. I argue that it should be a barrier to hiring, and I absolutely agree. I would never intentionally hire an engineer that doesn't know Git. I'm not going to filter for it or look for people who know Git because the engineers I'm hiring learned Git 10 years ago. It's just not a thing we talk about. Whew. This has proven to be an extremely controversial topic, but in my opinion, it's perfectly okay to use Git in college or university, and we should encourage, not discourage people from using technologies like distributed version control software. You could substitute Git with WhatsApp, Google Drive, or email for small projects and get by. I wouldn't even say just fine. I would say kind of get by, but why not spend 15 minutes learning the basics of Git? As far as I know, the use of Git and other distributed version control software is very popular, and we don't see the same hesitation when adopting technologies like Google Docs and its collaborative editing features in college or university. My elementary and middle school have been using Google Docs for like 10 years now, and my university still isn't using Git in the curriculum. What the fuck? How is my elementary school more willing to adopt proprietary software than my university program is to adopt universally used open source software? Is distributed version control software truly a controversial technology? If distributed version control software is not suitable for use in college and university, what would a more appropriate technology be? Totally agree. There also, the missing semester from MIT seems really good for stuff like this. More universities should have something like that. Who cares? Git's a tool, not a discipline. It's made to facilitate work, not to create a whole knowledge domain unto itself. Where did any of this get said? Who is looking at that tweet? Which, like, let's, let's pull the tweet back up. The number of CS grads who don't even know basic Git commands is astounding. Where in there did I even vaguely say that Git is a whole knowledge domain unto itself that we should learn. I wouldn't fault a seasoned and well-trained mechanic for not knowing the specifics of a specialty tool necessitating the need to find the manual. Similarly, although Git is the current VCS-ish thing of choice right now, it doesn't represent all of computer science. I, I like this reply. 
VCS is something that is interacted with multiple times a day in any code base. It is a basic tool, not too far apart from being able to traverse a file system. I want to call out that a lot of Gen Z uses phones and iPads more than computers. And if they even use a computer, it's a Chromebook. So you'd be amazed how much of Gen Z and the newest Gen Alpha doesn't actually know how to go through a file system. Regardless, great comparison. You should know how files work and you should probably know how Git works. The next step after viewing files is being able to commit to and view the history of those files. I don't know if that answers who cares, but a mechanic that does not know how to do something that they need to do multiple times every day, there's a skill gap. While CS is about theory, I would expect a CS grad to have used all of the basic programming tools and more. Great response. Like imagine a mechanic that when you hand them a hammer, they say, what's this? And the first time they use it, they use it backwards. That's not a good mechanic. Doesn't matter how many years they've spent training in the science of being a mechanic. They don't know what the fuck a hammer is, much less how it works. And that person should be laughed at, not hired, period. <sighs> Any code base, I question your depth of exposure. <laughs> I've been programming since 98. If a code base has no VCS, that seems almost ideological. I've done a git init on a Linux file system to understand patch changes. With that aside, what does disaster recovery look like without VCS? Like anybody who thinks that VCS isn't an industry standard thing should be ignored and blacklisted. Like I wish it was easier to blur names because Doug and Seven should never have a job in computer science if he thinks this way. Another great call out here. It's not like they're using Mercurial instead. There's a lot of concepts here that they should be familiar with. I, again, like if they are learning Mercurial or SVN or some shit, fine. I don't think it's ideal, but fine. But they're learning nothing. In my university, software engineering was the one class of the CS program that had nothing to do with programming. It was about UML, solid, dry, KISS, agile, scrum, and more. Useless class that was mostly a waste of time. Yeah, insanity. This quote I love, Git isn't even 20 years old. Do you know what else isn't even 20 years old? The students learning it in school. If you're going to college right now, 80% chance you're 20 or younger. This technology is older than the people we're talking about. Isn't even 20 years old is not the own you think it is. Like, are you kidding? Are you joking? The fact that they said that is just hilarious. Where did I say that we're demanding new grads be taught specific tech stacks? What tech stack isn't using Git? Show it to me. I would love to see it. That's the real concern here. The projection from having so little faith in their own ability to learn that they can't even see something like Git is going to be one of the many things needed to be learned on a new job. No, don't learn Git on the job. Learn Git and then get a job. Getting a job without knowing Git should not be possible. And it's getting harder every day. Cope. Stupid. Insane. Facebook's using Mercurial. They're like the one exception. But yeah, they all use some version of version control. Almost all of them use Git now. BRB learning Git. You would kill it, Jess. You're more qualified than the people these guys are defending. Let's be real. Just by using Twitch and dealing with like all the crazy things you have to do, get like chat working and all your cameras and shit, you honestly probably know more about what software engineering actually is by being adjacent to this shit as an e-girl than the people that I'm talking about here. This is a good call out too. There was a very wide gap between the students who were huge nerds that already knew or learned on their own and those who didn't. This is also before there was YouTuber Stack Overflow, so it was harder to learn. But right now, there is no excuse to not have learned these things. They will make it easier to do your schoolwork. They'll make it easier to be part of these ecosystems. They'll make it way easier to get a job. If you don't know Git, it's just a cell phone. This is quite possibly the greatest HN comment I've ever seen. I've worked with hundreds of CS grads. The worst programmer I've ever came across as far as the readability of its code had a master's degree in CS from Stanford. This reply is, I, I've been thinking about it since I saw it. It could be that they're working at a higher level than you understand. Not being snarky, but the elite schools are significantly advanced. Imagine learning algorithms from Knuth. Yes, I know he hasn't taught undergrads in 50 years. Looking at the results after being taught by Dr. Smith at generic state university, you might be unable to recognize the genius. I... Yeah. Yeah, I, I tweeted this because it was so absurd. It went fucking viral. Archtype, which is admittedly a very complex TypeScript thing, tweeted because they added a new label, significantly advanced, <laughs> to their repo for tagging issues. Oh, oh my God. Too good. I've mostly been focused on the people who disagree with me here. Let's take a look at some who do, which... We're going to go an interesting route because a lot of people who don't agree with me about almost anything have reached out or publicly tweeted saying, what the fuck? Theo's obviously right here. Shout out to Glover, who is currently running Terso, the SQLite database that I use, but not really the thing I would recommend. We don't agree on a lot of things. We've had some great conversations, but more often than not, we disagree. So for him to come out fully in support of me, appreciate it a lot. My hot take, Theo, who is usually wrong about stuff like unit testing is 150% right about Git. It's not about what universities are supposed to teach, but if in four years you only learn the things you were explicitly taught, what does that tell me about you? This is the perspective of a hiring manager, and as a fellow hiring manager, yeah, 
I'm looking for the people who are good at learning things and spend time getting better at these skills. That's not a person who by the end of four years of code doesn't know Git. You can have diverse interests and chase different threads. They will all lead you to finding niche tools and ecosystems. There's no problem if you don't know a particular tool because of your interests taking you somewhere else. You'll get 99% of them. Anything you do will get you to Git. And the other 5% already probably know that they're an exception and are unbothered by this. That's another important point. Like when I make a general statement, like everyone should learn Git, obviously there's a percentage of people that shouldn't, but to them, it is so clear they don't need to. Like if I'm saying something like everyone should know Git and you're like, well, I've been working on SVN code base for 20 years and I'm going to retire in three. I don't feel like learning Git. You know, you're the exception. You can ignore everything I say. Why are you even part of the conversation? When I attended university in 2000, I had an excuse not to know industry standard tools. They were very expensive. Also a fair point, using the other tools was not cheap. Things like Mercurial and SVN, especially SVN, cost money. Oh God, what about BitKeeper? Oh God, the good old BitKeeper days. So instead of industry standard, I always would use the open source ones. Today, open source is the industry standard. <sighs> How the fuck did we get here? I cannot believe this is a spicy take. Do I think everyone should know the basis of the Git CLI? I would like them to. If you're using Git via a UI, you should know what those things map to, but I wouldn't be too hard on that. But like, I need to see that you understand deeply version controls importance some amount. If I was to collaborate with you or try to hire you and you were to pull up the Git UI via like the GitHub desktop app or something during the interview process, I might ask some questions. But if it was like to go, go check out your GitHub and saw that you clearly knew how Git worked, you just happened to be using a UI instead, that's fine with me. But generally speaking, most good engineers can absolutely use Git through the CLI. Whether or not they prefer it is a different thing. But personally, to this day, I've never met a good engineer, not even a great, just like a decent engineer that can't use Git in the CLI. They all can. And if your goal is to be a decent engineer or better, you should at least probably know how the CLI works. It'd be nice. And as hiring gets harder and harder now, because there's so many people who have been laid off that are looking for jobs, a new grad isn't competing with other new grads anymore. A new grad is often competing with people who've been in the industry for five years, who definitely know Git. You have to look as close to an industry veteran as possible to not have a miserable experience job hunting. And if I could hire from a group of 10 people who used to work at Facebook that got laid off that know Mercurial, but have used Git before, or I can hire you fresh out of college with no proof you actually know how to code, that's an obvious answer. I'm going to hire the people who've been laid off. So yeah. If your goal is to get a job in this industry, please ignore all of the people who have been making fun of me. Like I got called a gatekeeper. I got called sexist. I got called ignorant in pushing my tools. I got told that I was telling people there has to be a course that's multi years in school to learn Git. I never said, did, or thought any of those things. I just think in the industry, we should take advantage of these standard open source tools that make our code better, make our code bases more collaborative and make us more successful. Git isn't that hard to learn. You can go learn it in a few days and we should all already know it. Git isn't so much a necessary tool that you should learn in order to be a better engineer. It's just a baseline thing. The same way you should have an IDE, you should have a VCS. If you have a thing to write code in, you should have a way to manage the code once you've written it. And 99% of us use Git anyways, so just use that. Let me know in the comments why I'm stupid and I'm a shill pushing modern technologies because that's what y'all have to do. Until next time, peace nerds.